What's good people? It's Daniel from Panels and Bars and this week I'm going to tell you a little about what I got to in the past week. I can't speak for other cities like Toronto or New York but I know here in London if you're a hip-hop head there's actually not too much culture you can actually experience and I'm not talking about radio or club nights I'm talking about galleries or movies or anything centered around the culture of hip-hop we don't get too much of that so this past week was actually really exciting because we had not one but two events within the space of a few days so the first was a movie double bill at Curzon Cinema and for those that don't know Curzon is a chain of movie theaters in the UK really boutique really nice you know they've got great seating great food really nice screens and they do a lot of like question and answer sessions and and really good marathons and so they actually had a double bill of two movies one was called fantastic and it's about the journey of slum village and jay dilla and the other was called a way of life and that was actually about hip-hop's reach around the globe and how different cultures have taken rap music and kind of put their own spin on it and it covered so many countries everywhere from france to ghana japan they i think they spoke to people in australia um so we got only a preview of that it was it was about half an hour of the of the, of the final film um and then we were shown the full fantastic slum village i kind of wish it'd been the other way around to be honest with you because the fantastic slum village documentary was good but it was it it needed some tweaking like there was a lot of footage in there which was just really not high quality there was parts of the documentary just went on for way too long they need to be edited and trimmed so it was obviously made by someone that had a lot of passion and was a really big fan of some village and jay dilla but it wasn't so professional it, it just you know the production values needed help whereas a way of life just looks like they've spent a lot of time making it and kind of just a lot of love traveling and talking to people and really trying to educate and expose people on just how big hip-hop is today um i was lucky enough to speak to one of the producers of that and here's what he had to say hi um i'm andre hopkin uh, i'm the producer and screenwriter of the documentary a way of life it's a documentary about global hip-hop which has been uh the production process has been over like five and a half six years it's about six years now i think uh it's been uh, uh filmed in uh, i don't know how many different countries but in total we've got 20 different countries uh from malaysia cambodia uh ghana america uh, loads of countries in europe australia and um basically it's been about uh looking at the social cultural influences behind the spread of uh around the world so after the film there was a question and answer session with the producers and you can tell they've really spent a lot of time really put a lot of love into this i put some information for the movie below track it down find out more about it let your friends know about it because it looks fantastic and it looks like a project that definitely need support um so there was a question and answer with those guys there was supposed to be a question and answer with slum village but they didn't turn up later on in the week Getty Galleries, which is a prestigious company, you've probably seen the Getty logo on everything from sports to current events. They're an agency that um, has some of the best producers in the world on their roster and they hire out their images to be used for all kinds of media. And they have a gallery based in London um, that has always different exhibitions. And this week they had Beat Positive. Um, Beat Positive is an amazing gallery featuring some really just incredible mind-blowing photography from the golden age of hip-hop so you're talking late 80s into early 90s and you had everyone from leaders of the new school eric being rakeem public enemy tribe slick rick ll rux and shante like you name them bismarcky they were there and these images are just stunning and it really just takes you back to how vibrant and how stylish and how cool that era was and just kind of how you know we look at these guys now as global icons but they were just starting out and they were hungry kids and you know there's, and there's an image of the fresh prince and jazzy jeff in swiss cottage of all places like, like literally around the corner from where i grew up so it's kind of crazy to see them at the beginning and see 
how they you know what they look like and you know how their energy and what's great about it is it's not just the promotional you know editorial shots it's it's flying the wall stuff it's images from the live shows it's images from the bombed out graffiti trains um it really blew me away i really can't you know even stress how much i think you need to go see this if you're a hip-hop head or if you're just interested in hip-hop and want to get into it and want to see how it started i spoke to the curator about the project and just seeing his passion for it made me realize how much hard work i've gone into it so my name is Sean Waldron. I'm the curator at the Getty Images Gallery. Uh, this is Be Positive exhibition. It's looking at hip hop's golden age from 1982 to 1993. And the reason we did this is I wanted to focus on that period when hip hop just went from being small, local, New York based, and got took off and entered the global stage, hit the world stage. So uh, you know, I think the the big thing that happened in early 1980 especially in 1982, was you had The Message came out. Of course, that's Grandmaster Flash's hit record with the single of the same name. And that was the first time you really had social, lyrical content, where people were talking about what was happening in their own community. So a lot of this exhibition touches on those years and the artists that were coming out in that time and uh, presents the four pillars and shows that how sort of young and fresh and just how positive everyone was. That's why I called it Be Positive, because it's about positivity and it's about spreading their, their message and their music, and just they were so excited to be bringing this message to the world. So I hope everybody can come see it and check it out and enjoy the pictures. The gallery has work from quite a few different photographers, but it mainly focused on two. And uh, I was lucky enough to speak to one of them, Janet Beckman, and she is just incredible. She shot every kind of different genre, but she was really there for hip hop's inception and and for its growth and, and just watching how it went from kind of early social political stuff to you know the the native tongues and the really fun energetic stuff and run dmc and ll she 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 spoke to and, and worked with so many of those people she was really influential in salt and pepper's career and they were really influential in hers actually getting her a lot of jobs and making her the house photographer at their, her, their label um, but i spoke to her and, and she just gave me a bit of insight on what it was like at that time you know, I was uh, really lucky to be in New York, 1983 onwards during the 80s and capture the golden era of hip hop. It was like so exciting and fresh and I, I really think, you know, people were really excited about what they were doing and everything seemed possible and, you know, you'd go to a club and there'd be break dancers and everybody, everybody was just really happy. And um, nowadays it's sort of a little different with social media, but I'm glad to be on YouTube. And um, you know, here's my one of my favorite pictures I ever shot, which is a picture of Run DMC I took on the street where they live in Hollis, Queens in 1984. As always, don't forget to like and comment down below. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe and hit the little bell that lets you know whenever we got new videos up. I'll see you next time. Peace. That's all, I'm Jeanette. Peace and love.